while since I've done one of these. I feel like the last one I did was in summer maybe and I took a little break from like making YouTubes to focus on my sofa series interviews with um, other people I know in the industry so if you haven't um, checked those out yet then they're all on my channel and I love them so much I'm very proud of them so definitely go check them out but yeah it's been a while since I've done one of these um, and it's now November which is a bit crazy and I thought I would do a coat clear out slash show you my coat rotation because um, I have a lot of coats and I don't need all of them and I kind of like kept a bunch in like January of last year and then I didn't end up wearing them and I don't know whether they're like my style anymore so I'm gonna go through them um I'm gonna go get them in a sec I'm really loving like goth vibes I mean I'm wearing like bright pink today but my necklace I don't know I'm just really into like goth vibes at the moment so I feel like my style has changed a bit since last winter and I don't want to keep stuff unnecessarily I'd rather sell it and someone else have it um skin update is my skin is actually I would call this like good to be honest I just I literally just cleanse and moisturize at the moment I feel like less is more for me right now and it seems to be working I'm just trying to get rid of scars but um yeah that's new I guess but it's kind of okay like I'm happy with this I don't want to mess with it too much and I don't want to like go on any crazy strong medication and stuff so yeah this is how I look at the moment <laughs> and it's, I'm happy with it so yeah I also um cleared out my like wardrobes in my room I just was thinking about like this winter like what I want to do this winter and I'm just really in like a nesting mood I really just want to make my room a nice space um, so I like cleared out a bunch of stuff it's all on my bed at the moment I'm gonna um, take it to I think I'm gonna sell it at my pop-up which I haven't actually announced yet but um, yeah I'm gonna do a pop-up and I think I'm just gonna have a rail of my stuff because I have so much to sell but yeah I just really want to like spend this winter making my space look nice and I've started doing it already and it feels so nice like rather than like watching TV or whatever I'm just like spending time on my space and I'll show you so I did this last night um bags still look quite messy but these are my skirts and then these are my jackets I'll show you some of these when I'm doing coats but I think they're looking pretty cute and then I put some bags here and my scarves these are my boots and then my shoes are a bit messy I'm gonna go get my coats and bring them back and then start going through them okay I've got a lot of coats too many I just don't need all of these basically I don't even know how many I have but I'm not gonna sell them for the sake of it I'll keep the ones I actually like so first is this um, Afghan coat it's denim I really like this one and it's like almost puffer material as well so it's really warm put that in the guest pile sometimes I think I could do I like could have a capsule wardrobe and that would be so nice and then I'm like what am I doing I could never do that I actually really like this one it's not very me right now but I feel like it would be me in the future this is like a Ralph Lauren like jacket it's not super warm but could be good for spring and it's got a collar I like this one I sound like I'm making excuses that can go in my jackets thing actually okay next is this Averex one which I love I'm not selling that that's a classic this I got this year and I love it I haven't worn it enough but little orange leather trench coat that's a good one this i just got i got it for my shop and then i decided to keep it for my depot but it's not showing up very well it's got this really nice collar and cuffs and it's like fitted which is quite hard to find with a leather jacket so i'll keep that one obviously this leather jacket is just quite a good um shape it's quite boxy and I like the colour of it. It's like, it's not black, it's like kind of blue. That's a key. I have a lot of leather. It's all vintage, of course. 
this puff that I just got and it's just handy and cute. Okay, this one I've been thinking about selling actually because I really like it, but I don't think it, it brings anything new to the table for me that I don't have already. But it's like purple cord with fluffy cuffs. So that's a sell, that's good. This bomber jacket I also love. I need to fix the zip on it because I bought it and then the zip was broken. But I do really like this one. This is like a super long leather trench coat. I feel like, okay, I've only got rid of one so far. That's not good. But this one, it's like a full matrix, like full length one. So I have to keep it because that's just so good. Oh my God, I love this one so much. My favorite Afghan, mm, second favorite. It's nylon and the fur is just so good. She's a keep, definitely. This one I'm actually not sure about. I reckon I could sell this. I don't think I need it. It's Carhartt, it's nice. I'm gonna sell that one. And I know I'm gonna do that thing where um, I like, I'm like, yeah, I'll definitely sell it, I'll never wear it. Then I try it on to sell it and I'm like, mm, I kind of like it. Okay, this one, I really like this one, but I don't really wear it that much. It's Buffalo, which is insane. Buffalo London. It's got this like tramp stamp design on the back. It's sick. But I'm, my heart is telling me to let it go. I might let someone else have this one. I really like it, but I've only worn it like once or twice. Okay, now I've sold three. This one I'm obsessed with. I almost sold this. I like took photos of it for Depop and everything and I was like, what am I doing? This is the nicest coat. It's like pinstripe wool. It's so nice and it's just like overcoat kind of vibe. This one was a classic for me for ages. I'll never sell this just because I used to wear this so much. Just a like super oversized Carhartt denim jacket. This is my actual favorite Afghan. I love this one, I might wear it today. It's got lots of marks on it and she's been worn a lot and I did actually catch the fur in like this fire once <laughs> and burnt it. Where is it? Here. That used to be a lot furrier. But I love that one, I would never sell it. This puffer I used to wear loads when I was like a teenager. Not a teenager, like 18. It's a Ralph Lauren one. I think it's kind of a classic for me, I don't think I can sell that. These are ones that I don't really wear. This Unif one, which was like, I was obsessed with this when I got it. I was 18 or 19 when this came out and it was like the coat. It's actually so soft and like cute and fluffy. I literally was obsessed with this. I wore it with everything. I was such a Unif girl. I still actually really like Unif. I don't buy much of their stuff anymore, but I really, really like them. But this was like it in like the kind of you know that phase when people were wearing like checkerboard and like thrasher and this? Oh my god, but I think I can sell that actually. This is one of those jackets I was talking about that I bought at the end of last winter. I really like it, but I just don't think I need it. It's Karna Beach, which is one of my favourite like 90s tech wear, rave wear kind of brands. And it's just like a good nylon one. But I think I'm going to sell it because I don't need it. This puffer is so good. I love it. It's like, it's so big on me. It's this big, but I love it. And Emma, who I live with, who is like taller than me, she always borrows it, so I keep it for her. But look how big it is. It's ridiculous, but I really love it. And it, you can tighten it at the waist, you can wear it like this as well. This one's not going anywhere. Um, I went through a real gilet phase last winter and me and Olivia like thought that we could make gilets happen and no one was wearing them and now people seem to be more into them this year. So maybe I'll sell this one. This one's good because it's got a hood. Just trying to figure out which way it goes. So, yeah. It's cute though. I like the white of it as well. I don't think I... Ah. Uh... No, I might keep that one. I'll put this in a maybe pile. Oh yeah, I have two Afghans that are really similar. This one, I love this one. It's so nice. 
I can wear this today actually. I really like this one because it's got the wide cuff, fluffy sleeves. Okay, I'm keeping this. Oh, another puffer. I don't think I need this one anymore. I really like this um, sub brand of O'Neill called Board Babes. It's a cute puffer, but I can sell that. Okay, this is, this is actually my first Afghan coat. And it's like a nice blue. And I kept this one and that black one because this is like marginally longer, which is kind of ridiculous, but I just love the colour of it. I don't think I can sell this one. <laughs> I don't need all of these, but I just love it too much. And it's got like memories for me. I really thought I'd be able to get rid of one of those today, but I can't. This jacket I can sell because I've got a lot of leathers. I don't need it, it's just like a leather blazer used to wear it all the time so this this i can sell because i've got a similar one it's really nice though it's got real fur car collar and then yeah it's similar to that one i showed earlier but i prefer the fur on the other one so i sell that okay this one i love but it's a bit big for me but it's so nice the color is insane it's um like a blood red colour. It's got fur on the collar and the cuffs. I'm gonna sell this but I love it. I've worn this a lot. Okay, last one is a Sandro coat. But I think I can sell this as well because I've got that pinstripe one. I used to have this girl like begging me on Depop to sell it and I was like I never sell it because it's so classic but now I've got that pinstripe one I prefer it. Okay, you really can't see anything but it's just one of these like wool overcoats. Oh my God, I did it. Okay, I'm just gonna show you some of the highlights of my jackets now while we're here, because you might be interested. So this is my new jacket section. This one I love, I might wear this today. It's Machina, I got it on Depot recently. And it says love on the back. And it's like quite cropped, it's really nice. This one I found in a charity shop and I was like, oh, I love it. Cause it's got this like gothic writing on it. It's just like a utility jacket with some feathers on it. But I love this one. Every girl needs a denim jacket. Denim just looks good with everything. I sell, I've got a lot of these on my Depop at the moment actually. Um, but it's just so good. I just love it, it looks so cute with everything. I have these two nylon jackets. This one's Prada. I got in Berlin. This one I got from Past Trash. Oops. And it's like ruched. They look cute together. I just love these two. This Maharishi jacket I got recently. Oh, I'm actually obsessed with it. It's like tweed. And it's got this embroidery on the back. And like pockets. Mm. It's so good. Oh yeah, this I love. Got knitted sleeves and a leather body. It's not super warm, annoyingly. So I've maybe missed my window for wearing it. And then this, which me and my buyer found for me. I'm obsessed with it. It's a proper motorbike jacket. So it's like really thick, but it's cropped. And we found, well, she found in the pocket this lipstick. I don't know if you think it's gross that I kept this, but I just think it's so cool. It's like bright purple. And um, I'm just imagining like this cool 90s biker chick in purple lipstick like riding around on her bike. I'm obsessed. And yeah, it's just got like reflective stuff. I just, maybe I could wear this. Okay, I've said that about like eight jackets, but I could wear this today. Could be cute. Hey girlie. Hello. How are you doing? Good, thanks. Good, thanks. It. That wasn't as stressful, oh that did take 45 minutes, but that wasn't as stressful as I thought it would be. I've just noticed this is on a massive angle. So now I'm going to get ready to go. I'm really excited what I'm going to wear today. I was thinking of wearing these, but I don't know whether they clash, the burgundy clashes with um, 
my dress. So they're called New Rocks. I've actually got a pair on my teapot right now. And I wear them all the time. See what I mean about my goth thing? I'm like kind of a half goth, like a thick goth. I don't know if I'm showing them very well, but I love them. Let me see how they look. Yeah, they actually look quite good with this dress. And then I think I might try the jacket actually, because it's warm and I didn't want to wear really another layer underneath. I think this looks good actually. Love it. Okay, this is my outfit. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed going through my wardrobe with me. I've got many, many other categories of my wardrobe and I've got one, two, three, four different wardrobes as well. So um, comment and drop me a comment if you want to see another bit of my wardrobe, if you want me to go through it. I'm having a big spring, well, winter cleaning phase right now. So yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure to check out my Instagram and my Depop and have a lovely day.